Can you go see Ms. Mosley? Okay, and then also pull it up on Illuminate so that we'll be able to look at the responses. Okay. Yes. Illuminate's little sign thing is so. I know, it's like this little butterfly that you can never see. Okay, while that's coming up, I'm gonna walk you through the process mm -hmm. to make it really clear. So, what we'll do is we'll look at like the overall data okay. to notice trends and maybe standards that they didn't do so hot on and standards that they do so do hot on. Mm -hmm. and like, for the ones that they did do well on, like why, what in your teaching made that go well. And then the ones that they didn't do well on, we'll look at the exemplar, then we'll look at how kids performed, like a high, medium, and low, we'll figure out the gaps, and then we'll figure out the teaching needs. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. I know we kind of were like, oh, we should do evidence, right? because we were grading together and it looked like it, but now we'll like really get a chance to dive deep and make sure that that's the right anecdote. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so let's go back to ARC. It's not clear to me. Isn't it crazy? All right. Yeah. It's so we were at 34%. Mm -hmm. So... I need to start taking these tests on paper because I think the typing is really slowing them down. Sorry, this is a total just a going forward thing because a lot of them just did not finish. Okay. In the future, like, let me know and then mm -hmm. we'll give them another day because we don't okay. want the not finishing to be a uh, yeah. factor in I, the data. I student. think it is a factor in this data. Okay. Because, like, if you look as it like goes up higher in question. It's just like fewer and fewer students didn't do it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just wasn't sure because in this, it says like 25 minutes for the test. So I was like, okay, 45 minutes. And I was like, okay, an hour and a half and then something should have taken. Yeah, so this soon, in the, and this is happening in a lot of schools, like, but just this soon we don't want the time to be the factor. Okay. So there's just something to note, like take it on paper and mm -hmm. give them the time that they need. Okay. Um, okay, so that's good to know. So let's dive in and let's look at standards mastery first. Okay. And what we notice about Will. Jarrell, come sit down. So what would we want to consider? Like, because none of them are like the highest mastery, I think, is 50. 53. For us? For us. Like the high, yeah. So, I just don't know what to consider good. <laughs> well, the highest measure overall is 83%. Um, Let's okay. look at our highest mastery. So, our yeah. highest mastery was evidence. And determine the theme of the story. Yeah. Responding to challenges. They did do well on that question. So how they respond to challenges, we already noticed that they did well. They could name how they responded to the challenges. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good. So let's write that down as a glow. Well, 
Okay. It's something that's going better. Yeah. Because just the caveat, it's still 53%. Right? I suck our name. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Let's make three categories. <laughs> Something so <coughs> do I not understand how this <coughs> works? Because <Yes>. so <coughs> so these are the same, right? I'm not crazy. What are the same? These first two. Charm of the theme. The meaning of art. Is this the good language to be? Oh, this one just doesn't include metaphors or simply. That's what's wrong. Okay. <laughs> They're just really similar. All right, let's hop to what they super didn't do well. Yeah, that's that's easy. Um, the term in the, I'm surprised about this one. The figurative language. No, that makes sense. Figurative language ones, like the blood draining from their faces. I remember that being mm -hmm. an issue. Um, that's the, and then. Compare, contrast two or more characters setting a judge to jails. Final question. What question is that? Yeah, let's bring up the assessment. I wish right here it said exactly like what standard. Right, that would wouldn't that not be helpful. Two more characters setting or events. Am I? I just having a hard time. Understanding what question this one would go with. The one where we did 30% compare or contrast two more characters. Um, or event. It seems like they are smushing standards. Yeah. Because one is quote equity from a text. You see that? How it then says quote equity from a text? Right, so I just don't, I don't know, I like that's what they're... Because like. comparing and contrasting is standard three, I think. Yeah. Let's look at the comic list standards. And I just, I don't, it's more of a challenge. I want to know what question is for each of them, too. Because that'll help me. Yeah. See, standard three is compare and contrast, and then standard one is quote accurately from a text. Yeah. So they smushed the standards, which is interesting. It's like I just don't know if they did poorly on quoting accurately or poorly. Well, on I think it's quote accurately because there's not a lot of comparing. And contrasting. Right. So I don't so know why that was anywhere existing in this blog. Is there a way to maybe? go through and assign the standards to the questions and then look at their responses by the question. You mean in eliminate? Or like even just like manually really quickly. Like if I could just write down the standards for each question and then we could just look at this to see how they did. Because I think 
Sure. Because I think that makes it a little bit more clear. So like, I feel like I'll be yeah, able to sure. find the way I was going about it was like, let's find a standard that's not working, and mm -hmm. then we'll find the question that, yeah. that where that standard pops up because it might be multiple questions. Mm -hmm. But if you want to do it the other way around, that's fine. Just because they're weirdly smushing, so I just don't know. Because I think quoting accurately, we can always agree that's always going to be right now. I mean, I think that the big things are figurative language and quoting okay. accurately. Okay. okay, which is what we saw when we were grading too. Yeah. So then now let's see where that's showing up on the assessment. Okay. How it's coming about. So. So we're looking for. Quoting accurately and. Well, you know what? I think it'll be easier if we prioritize one standard. We can't come. It's going to be too much if we come at it with, with two standards. So, which one do you think is the higher priority for them to do well on the end of the unit? Quoting accurately. So let's focus on that. So yay, we came to the same exact conclusion. Yep. Quoting accurately. <laughs> they didn't even need to go to, through this. They need to get. Sirs, we're not talking. All right. So quoting accurately. Let's go through and let's find the questions that are quote accurate. We need evidence here, right? So I would say yes, but since it doesn't explicitly say for like textual evidence to quote, they're just asking for them to summarize, and they were just supposed to hit on the three big points. Okay, so like the exemplar didn't ask them for like very <coughs> big specifics. Let me just make sure it wasn't graded on a two-point rubric though, because the two-point rubric is asking for evidence. It was. Is it the big characters, chronological, and the big events? And if they're accurately giving those big events. See, because it says number one, two point summary rubric. Do you have the two point summary rubric? They do. Your excuse. That doesn't apply. All right. Like this one is evidence. Number three. Evidence. Number three. Okay. And then I would say, how was this last one? This is on a two-point rubric. Which one? Number four. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then how is number eight graded? Okay, so yeah. This one doesn't have evidence either. Okay. All of these, they were supposed to use evidence, so. These were just, I thought these were just one point. These each. were just one point. Yeah. You're right, I remember. Okay. So evidence showed up. Mainly just, here and here, mm -hmm. three and four. So, let's now look at the exemplars. How should they have done this? So I would say, from what I remember, those that completed this and accurately told me what the responses were, like had the evidence from the text. 